Namaste fellow tech lovers, today we are talking about the Geoni S6S. On this phone, it has a curved body, uh, wears a metal casing and takes the most amazing pictures. But that's not the best thing. The best thing is it costs only $25,999. Well, let's get started. Geoni S6S is 8.3mm thick and weighs satisfactory at 166 grams. Design-wise, the curved body looks premium and offers better handling. It has a 5.5-inch, 1080-pixel IPS LCD display, which is protected by the Gorilla Glass 3. So, no AMOLED screen like its predecessor Geoni S6 anymore, which in my personal opinion is a bad move by Geoni. At the top of the screen, there's front camera, flash, ambient sensor to auto-adjust brightness and an earpiece. At the bottom of the screen, there are capacitive buttons with haptic feedback, but unfortunately they are not backlit. Now, Let's look at the back. We can see the main camera with LED flash, fingerprint scanner which is impressively accurate and very fast for a mid-range phone. And it's easy to use because of its position. At the bottom, you'll find a speaker which is loud but doesn't have a good bass. The base of the phone has 3.5mm jack, mini USB charging port and a mic. You can see the volume control and power button on the side. For me, the positioning of these buttons are just right. Geoni S6S uses Amigo OS 3.1 on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So if you're a stock Android user fan, you might find using the UI a little weird because there's no app drawer, but you will get used to it after a few uses. Also, the quick access panel cannot be accessed from the top, rather you have to pull it from the bottom of the screen which is something new and confusing for long time Android users. It fooled me quite a few times. The good thing about this OS is you can customize it to your liking. For instance, if you go to advanced settings, you can set up various gestures for ease of use. The Geoni S6S is powered by a 1.3GHz octa-core MediaTek processor. I didn't experience any lags while using the phone for normal users like browsing, navigating or chatting. However, the 64-bit Cortex-A53 processor cores and Mali-T720 GPU doesn't live up to the expectation while playing high-end games or heavy multitasking. Similarly, the phone has 3GB of RAM but only half of it is available for your use thanks to numerous bloatwares that come pre-installed with the phone. The phone has 32GB of ROM, which means you don't need to worry about installing your favorite apps. And if that's not enough for you, a micro SD slot is located on the side, which can be expanded up to 256GB. Although, if you're using a micro SD card, you won't be able to use two SIM cards, because the Geoni S6 has a hybrid SIM slot, which means you can either insert two SIM cards, or a SIM card and a micro SD card. The 3150mAh non-renewal battery on this phone can get you through the day easily with normal users. However, if you are a heavy user, you need to charge the phone often as average battery life on this phone is 3.5 hours of on-screen time. It lacks quick charge support so it will take around 2-3 hours to get fully charged. Although, in case of emergency, you can enable the extreme power saving mode feature which can prolong the battery life for more than 200 hours. The phone feels warm on the back after using for more than 30 minutes. But it's nothing to get worried about, it doesn't have any overheating issues. Since Geoni S6S is a selfie phone, let's look at how good the camera is. The Geoni S6S features a 13MP rear camera with f2.0 aperture lens, face detection autofocus and LED flash. During daylight, the photo comes out decent at first impression, but there's nothing to write home about. The color reproduction is inaccurate and the photos lack in detail while you zoom in. Dynamic range is poor considering the price tag and HDR mode doesn't do any miracles at all. The low light photography is mediocre with lots of noise. The 8MP front camera looks like the phone's biggest asset. It's easily one of the best front facing cameras I've ever tested and goes even head to head with some of the flagship handsets. Also, the built in high CRI flash offers a level of low light usability that most rivals cannot match. So, in conclusion, if you have a budget of around 26,000 rupees, this is the best phone in that range in the market right now to buy. Because it's got an excellent front facing camera, the screen is really wide and it feels pretty premium in your hands. So this is how we rated the phone. Let us know what you think about the phone in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, subscribe and hit like if you liked our video, cheers. Who says you cannot control the way you surf the internet? Now you can with Vionet's Fiber Home Rush. Boost your speed from 2 Mbps to 10 Mbps.
Save your high-speed data whenever you want. It's that simple. To subscribe, call us now, 4217-555, or visit our website. Vyanet, the best thing that happened to the internet in Nepal.